Here it is, guy. Lower bracket round. Uh, the third of the third lower bracket round uh, between CPM and Tug. And it uh, looks like we're going to be checking DKT off the beginning. Yeah, we're going to get some destruct action in here. He's going to get up towards the top. And oh my god, almost lost. We don't get to see this every day, but we're going to see a huge explosion of action on the very top here. Destruct going to be shutting down that back corridor. Got to keep his back to uh, to mid, though. It's going to be peeking out over that, and it's mostly controlled. Going to switch on over to Clown as they're looking to push out here through the catwalk. It's going to be uh, a little touch and go here right now. This They've is gone super slow. Like the pro yeah. guys, they just got shut out of that room and they're like, okay, I guess this is going to be a slow start. It's a good time series. to do so, but oh, here we go. We have some uh, action explosion here on the catwalk. They were, ooh, uh -oh, what a brilliant fast, move. Dehang like cutting that off. I mean, they had an opportunity to push for it earlier, a little bit delay there, and Dehang, you know, said, when I go, go. And, uh, <laughs> That brings things down very, very quickly. Going to switch on over here to Vu. Oh, not quick enough. Yep, too late, man. Yeah. They go down already, and two are going to be taking round number one. Uh, onto Carnage right now. They've all set back up at the top. But Fiend looking as if he almost yeah. wants to escape the room already. Clown going up, but he levitated to his death. Fiend down also, and the Carnage searching for a rail onto Vu. There's the he jump wants up. all three. Oh, man, <laughs> all, all these all rockets. Nine. Uh, almost to the finishing blow right there, but he's just about to be sandwiched, and that is going to be round number two going to Tug. Do you know anything? Why is t What is Tug? You know, that would be an excellent interview question. <laughs> we're going to be exploding here at the top once again, and it's going to be all sorts of almost DM6 bridge action. Rockets bouncing everywhere. Boo's going to go down fairly quickly this time, and yeah, very, very quick round. A very quick 3-0 here for Tug. Yeah, it's been convincing as such, and it looks like uh, the promo players are going to have to change things up uh, soon. Otherwise, it could get uh, pretty bad and put themselves out of contention for this map. Yeah, they're looking very rinse and repeat here so far, but uh, like it. yeah, it's absolutely been working. But we finally see one get pulled away. Dehang got knocked out of position on the top there, had to cross the map, and it wasn't going to be happening for him. Fiend now overlooking the top. He's going to have opportunities for a lot of rails here, but he's going to be pushing in with rockets, just trying to get the bounce off, trying to get control Great of rockets. the area itself. Oh, he's missing uh, his jump oh, back up. Going thanks, to buddy. Not quite making it. Looking for these optimistic rails. L bits of LG. Trying to. I can't believe he's not dead yet. The LG coming down from the bottom and destruct. He's getting clean kills at the moment. He is so stacked. And going for a one versus one. Vu on 83 points of health only. He's at a huge disadvantage. And looks like DKT going to clear it up right now. No, just can't. Swipe away the remaining 20 health. Yeah, that's going to leave Vu heading back through. Rocket launcher back up to the top, which is going to be an easy place to find him. Destruct. Nice. Coming right around the corner with the double shotty. Easy peasy. Right, back over to Destruct. And uh, I'd love to meet up here at this top area. And uh, which one's going to be the first casualty? Fiend hurting a lot, stuck in the corner. He's going to go down to Destruct's lightning gun. And he's just pushing through. He hasn't been hurt at all. Exactly. Let's make it a second one. Clown goes down also. And then Vu as well. Destruct getting all wow, of them in this wow. round. Good play. Ooh. Could have used a memo there. Maybe now is not a great time to go through that door. But Destruct down at the bottom there. Everybody's going to be hopping up that jump pad. Clown's going to get stuck in the corner, but that could go both ways for Destruct. Fortunately for him, he has backup. He has teammates there to do the damage, but it's looking very even right now. Destruct is in the danger zone, but he's going to be able to pull it out. We have uh, Vu up last here, stuck he's here in the corner. He's got a bit of health. He's, yeah, he's doing all right, but... He uses uh, teammates as meat shields there, but coming out into mid, he's able to throw out a rail, but now his position is exposed. It's going to be... A very touch and go. He has about twice right as now. much health as all of the his enemies have combined. And this is what I love about Clan Arena when you get good matches like that. Oh, but they're ready oh, waiting he's for missing him. The the uh can't quite take the struck down all that quickly. Vu is now railable, but he's still alive. Gonna take a very quick RJ. Doesn't quite make it up to the top, but that worked out well for him in that case. He was able to spit out a little bit more damage. He might go sneak up on him. He's found uh, Oh, the hang over there, getting a rocket onto him. Vu, extremely weak. And he can't afford to stick around here. He knows that Tug has one more other than the hang to worry about. And Carnage, yeah, is just looking to... Well, he's only at 20 health. He's going to be useful in mid with rails, but otherwise, he might not be the one to trap out Vu there. Let's go ahead and take another look at him. And yeah, he's down to 34. Right, barely holding left. onto it here. They're going to be just to the left. He can't... Oh, oh there it is! 1v1 <laughs> now. And he actually has an advantage by two points of health, but I don't think either player realizes... Uh, what the enemy stack is exactly. So we're probably going to see an engagement real soon. Rails are missing. Both going to mid and both looking pretty eager to get the kill. But leaving that fight at mid is so uh, scary. And you can see that Vu is hesitant to move anywhere out. 
that puts us back not against a safe wall there on the hang side at 32 health. As you said, Vu has the advantage it here, but it'd be pretty a grenade like that. Yeah. It'd be very interesting if they both think that they have more health than the opponent, <laughs> and they both just waited out. This could be tragic right for De Hang. Yeah, well, five up on one, losing one. It would be an embarrassing one to lose, but <laughs> they can soak it up at the moment. But De Hang looks like he wants to make something happen. Oh, oh that no. was it! That actually <laughs> pushed him into by one point of health! <laughs> This can't be happening right now. One second remaining, they can't find the angle, and Tuk is going to take it. <laughs> Only... That is ridiculous. <laughs> I, we can hear shouts coming from the player area. Oh my god. Sometimes I love playing arena. Boo! Coming <laughs> up the top, man. Looking to make his way up into the MVP status here. Thrown off all sorts of LG. We have the hang getting caught on the Mega Pad Boo with five health left, and we've already seen that he can do a lot with that. Uh, but Destruct is fully loaded. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. good shot. Good that stab. is going to be map number wow. one going to two. Seven to one. Pretty <laughs> convincing in the end. A little bit lopsided, but that, that, round. that round alone was That's more than worth the price of admission. That is pretty gutting, though, for <laughs> Vu. I, I think that was his voice that I could hear. I don't know if it would have picked it up on the microphones, but... Well, you don't that, know that until that after. That's why the, the shouts were a little bit delayed. It's like you knew uh, <laughs> one point. I think he realized that that little bit of spl tiny bit of splash yeah. damage is like, well, God damn it. If they're looking over Amazing. each other's computers. <laughs> All right, so we're going over to DM6, and usually I would groan about seeing this in fan arena, but again, 3v3 is such a perfect fit for the event, for the players, and for the map here. Exactly. Uh, we're going to see some uh, bridge and pillar action, but it won't be quite as uh, well stupidly chaotic as we're used to seeing. Are you sure? Well, we'll see. I mean, these, these guys are pros. They, they know what they're doing. If they can make stupidly chaotic look planned and orchestrated. <laughs> Well, uh, unfortunately, though, for promo players, they lost their own map pick, so they're going on to Tug's map pick. We're going to be starting map number two right now. This is match point now for, uh, for the Tug players. Uh, but look at this. Pro is so spread out here. We've got two on bridge, but we've got three aggressing on it. Clown's going to have to give up. It's going to be bounced off. Fiend is going to be following suit as well as they cross into mid, and this is going to be a better place to set up for rockets and rails. Clown fighting for a good position here. Yeah, not really getting get all that something. much love. Ooh, but he can catch one sneaking around the back end. Yeah, and he needs to really even up the damage he's uh, giving as well as receiving. Trying to get another rail, but he's going to be getting caught off this time. Searching the angles. He's actually on his own right now. Getting another rail there, but I believe it was Carnage and just yeah. fought off by the hang. Side. First round to two. So again, these spawns are, are causing the uh, the bridge action to be a little bit more delayed. But yeah, everyone's meeting up here. We're going to see Vu likely bounce off at the hang, not watching his back. Ouch. Everybody's behind him, and one, two, three shafts of LG will knock him down against the wall very quickly. Oh. And Teague will have number two up on the board. Yeah, that, that went very quickly. I think they're going to go for it again. Clown rushing his way up to the top. I'm going to go over to DKT as well. And he's actually he's dying extremely fast. Wow. Gets a good rocket right at the end. So the pro players do have a small advantage. Not anymore. It's gone immediately. Carnage goes down. We've got a one versus one. And they to hang. Okay, it's to hang and Vu. They've got very close amounts of health. We've hang. been here before. Yeah. yeah. The smells. Uh... Oh, what a rail opportunity. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Smile. Beautiful. <laughs> came right up over the floor. That was a beautiful rocket. Tug always winning this situation. This has got to be so frustrating for for pro mode. All right, the hang taking one down, two down very quick. Well, boo, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, my. making it all happen there, not taking all that much. Uh, but the micro positioning on, on bridge is extremely sensitive to all sorts of factors here, and Dehang has no compunctions about just showing up and sitting there as if he already owns the bridge. He's going to get knocked off here. Oh Carnage yeah, can take down Boo, it's going to be one down, and it's going to leave Fiend by himself. The Hang's coming up, and Fiend can dodge that last rock. He's down to 30 oh. health, and a little bit of LG will polish him off. Five, and are we going to be getting the clean sweep here in lower bracket round of three? Well, they've got to do something. And look, they backed off Pro Red, finally realizing, you know what, Bridge isn't the place we want to fight. And the Hang the slow game. has no problem modifying his play to that. He's setting up a perfect angle on pillars there. And look at this. His rocket spam is already getting some love, getting some damage there, getting some good donks. And Vu is trying to push out here from pillars, but with the hang sitting over on the rail platform, they've all got a very difficult position. Ooh. And Vu, who whiffing that rail, it's, it's a... Yeah, he's a little bit shaken yeah. there. DKT just moving out, getting a bit of damage. Uh, not enough, really. So yeah, Tuke looks like they here. really want to force this fight and uh, and take this away from them, but... They're just showing us how incredibly good he is at rocket jumping. <laughs> but Pro Mode is actually uh, taking the more patient game here. And this is something we haven't had much of an opportunity to see here so far on DM6, but so far so good. At least every time that, that Tug wants to push out over to Pillars, mm. Vu's able to punish. 
Going to take a look here at Fiend as he's pushing out towards mid. And so far, he's been untouched. Yeah, he has Sashi DKT is the major casualty, really, for Tuga. I mean, he's only on 100 points of health, whereas uh, his teammates are pretty stacked. Carnage just took a rail, and that was it. And uh, probably, are they going to be playing that? Oh, wow. Yeah, Clan I mean, at the bottom going up that jump pad was going to be a little bit risky there, but no such rail coming out of the hang. Carnage is now crossing. Yeah, awesome this is a, the top. a much slower match than we've seen so far. Carnage coming over the top of the rail platform as well, looking for somebody to push out. Must have gotten word, but I don't really think that Pro Mode is, uh, is looking to exit pillars at any time soon. This is their home. Yep, they're happy here. Yeah. They just don't want to lose a player right now. That would be tragic. Oh, Fiend. He's oh. being so careful. Vu oh. trying hang. to get some damage off. There it is. They pushed off. They managed to take out one, but they've lost one as well. And things have opened up here. And Clown is not coming back in. That's the drop. That was great stuff to be taken on down. That's going to leave Carnage by himself. 129 health. Not quite railable, but there's eight seconds left on the clock. He's got to make something happen here. Ooh, oh, and taking him like good. that. That's, that's, that. Yeah. He got some nice yeah. damage, but that Promo get themselves around. Just a little late, but that'll bring them up. Five on one. I wonder if Tuga kind of want to speed things up and just try and find them. Look, they've just moved into the pillars. They're going to fight right now on top of them. I'm on a watching Fiend, but Vu as well. He's doing some mighty good damage. And actually, only one left. It's one versus one, in fact. And Vu wants to get out of pillars. He doesn't want to get caught in any choke points here, but he's being careful before moving up to the upper platform. It'll take one three rails on Carnage to kill him. Yeah. Whereas only one on Vu. He's on the threshold, which is brutal for him. And oh, there's a jump up. <laughs> he's being noisy here. It's almost he as if he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> almost. One would hope, anyway. We, we can give him the benefit of a doubt. <laughs> Carnage still looking very strong here and having the upper position. Yeah, I think he's, he's being uh, quiet enough to make sure that, ooh, I that Vu's not going to be coming in very close to him on pillars. If Vu went through that hallway, he would have uh, <laughs> died as well. We're seeing a lot of binds here for the players. Yeah. I think you can see that Vu is uh, <laughs> kind of humming and hawing over where he wants to be right now, being very quiet. Yeah, but right now the uh, the health bet at 80 health is not a, a strong one. No. Vu is going to have a real hard time at the moment. If he loses this round, it's going to be putting Tug on match point, and that would send pro mode guys out of the tournament. Yeah, so uh, growing some would be uh, in the cards here. <laughs> I don't know if that's how they'd phrase it, but well. that's definitely uh, accurate. <laughs> but Vu's uh, he's doing the right thing. He's coming up quietly. He's uh -oh. trying to get into a There's position a here on bridge, but Carnage uh knows that he already caught side of him. Oh. At the bottom. And the, the rock is on yeah. hitting. There's the direct at the end. And now <laughs> we're on to match point. Carnage found him. I don't think Vu quite realized uh, that Carnage uh, had that information. Yeah, we, we saw him around the corner just a little bit, but it was enough for Carnage to get the idea. Carnage wanted to cross back over to Pillars, but he's going to get caught here, missing that jump. And Clown is more than happy to take advantage of that. But Clown is going to have to back out of that fight, not getting as much damage out of that as he wanted. Carnage now doing insane rails here at Pillars and holding off with Rockets as well. But Carnage is by himself now. now. Yeah, he can take down Fiend close range. Taking a little bit of Rocket. Ooh, and that last rail, that was brutal. And that'll be work, clown, clown nailing it in. Well, they've got themselves another round on there. At least uh, delaying what could be imminent death very soon. So let's have a look. They're back <laughs> up at the top, but they're so slow to get there. They're losing huge amounts of damage. And now pro players are two versus one. And it looks like the two players are starting to uh, sp spread out and cover the rest of the map. Clown wasn't able to support his teammate. He's now on his own. He's got a little bit of armor left, but they're coming from all angles. Under the bridge, it's not going to be... Exactly safe. Ooh, a very nice rocket over, over the top, but what's his exit from here? He's going to go over the top. He can take down Carnage. He buys it with a little bit of damage, but that'll wow. be it. Tug taking it 7 2. GG, guys, and that is good. Um, Tug making it a two map to zero, and uh, very impressively convincing, I guess. Promo players didn't stand much of a chance.